Hi there, my name is Albert Chavez here. I'm from Sacramento, California. I'm 49 years old. And uh, my story is a little unique. Um, I would be called your average Joe. I, um, probably about two years ago, 18 months ago, I made a decision to change my body, to redirect my life. And part of that was hiring a trainer. So I hired a coach, uh, Jason Salinas from Sacramento. And um, one of the first interviews we had when we talked is, I told him what, my, what I wanted to look like. I wanted, I was 238 pounds, body weight, body fat was 27%. And I was drinking a lot, I was eat, I was just unhealthy. And so I basically told him I want to look like you. And he's shredded, he's a trainer. And one of the first things that he wanted me to do and said was, we need to check your blood work and kind of see how you are with your testosterone level and just kind of where you're at, your, 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 how your blood is. That way when we put together a program for you, it's not just about eating right and exercising, it's really about what your body's doing internally. And so that's how I got introduced to Titan. Um, and it was pretty intimidating, honestly, because all of a sudden I'm having to put stuff on my body that I didn't really know what it was. And that with education, uh, learning about what BCAAs and are, and, and just the different types of good, healthy um, uh, medicines that are out there, um, it, it, it took me a while to really get confident. But after the first couple of weeks, after working out with Jason, and then a month goes by, uh, I felt a whole lot better. I had a whole lot of energy. Uh, the things that, I, that I'm taking with Titan are the HCG, the CYP, and then the uh, Titan Complete. And, you know, I've had follow-ups, you know, the six-month follow-ups in and, and, and the blood work. And what has been really fascinating for me is each time that I've gone back to the doctor and had the consultation with Titan, um, the, the feedback was, Albert, you're doing great for being 49 years old. Your, your blood levels look great, your testosterone levels are exactly what you need to be as a man for your age. And so I can tell you, uh, bar none, it has to do with uh, what Titans, um, not only their staff, but their expertise, but also what they're providing for me, for my body. And so I can't say enough about it. The teamwork, the, the, the customer service they have, I just love getting follow-up texts from them. You know, it's probably every 60 days, just like, hey, how are you doing? How are you feeling? You know, again, six months go by, hey, your blood work needs to be done. And so, and then when you talk on the phone with them, everybody's super nice. And what I especially like, actually with technology, is the Zoom calls. What they're gonna do is when they, when they set up the blood work with you and you get them done, they actually go over with you on a call. It's like 10 to 15 minutes. And for me, um, because of not only my age, but just technology, I, I just felt, they cared for. And so for me, I want to I want to see the doctor, I want to hear the doctor, I want to understand more. And so a phone call isn't good enough for me. A personal uh, consultation is what I need as a man. So anyway, I can't say more about Titan. They've been super helpful for me and I just love working with them. And uh, yeah, please reach out to them and, and they're amazing. So, me and Drew are here today in the Titan Lounge to give you guys a great Titan tip. And that slow and steady wins the race, especially when gaining muscle and not wanting to get injured. You definitely, think, definitely. If you guys are momentum lifting, it's very bad for your joints, bad for your ligaments, because if you're catching the weight, and what I mean by that, if you're letting the weight drop and catch it to come back up, it's bad for your ligaments. And again, like John said, slow and steady always wins the race. So if you're looking to gain quality muscle, Slow it down, go lighter if you have to, don't ego lift. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's, that's pretty much the way that's I right. train. Um, a lot of guys 
use the old school method where they're just slanging and banging. Yep. That looks good for a video. It's great, you know, to get motivated. But in terms of staying healthy yeah. and giving your muscle that quality look, slow, steady, and contract at the top. Of the that's right. Time under tension. Yeah. This is exactly. another one that's always exactly. preached out there. You guys should follow us. I promise you guys, you know, you'll slow down on your injuries too as well. And probably gain a lot more lean quality mass when you're doing it like this. Feeling the contraction, mind and muscle connection. That's what it's all about. Especially with Hercules Potion, we got to inject that before we even start working out. And that's definitely a game changer. So we're gonna see us start lighting things up and do what we do here and show you guys some of our exercises that we like to do for, I think, biceps and maybe a little bit of triceps in there. Always good to catch a quick arm pump for our show. Oh, yeah. This is the pre-show pump. Right. So we gotta get a pre-show pump. The ECA is kicking in, the Hercules is kicking in. So we're gonna bring this full random right into the show. 2 p.m. Titan Lifestyle. It's gonna be a good one. Let's go. Oh yeah, big Drew. Preacher curls to start off. Look at that. Got a Hercules potion before this, little ECA action. Negative, same speed as the part. You're gonna probably get way better results and less injuries. And there's no good to be putting all this effort and all this time and build up to a certain point just to be dumb and do it the wrong way and at that point hurt yourself. Not anybody can get injured, but at that point, okay, I'm gonna start off. Hercules posted instant gratification. Instant gratification. Instant gratification. <laughs> and anti-fatiguing too, so. Yeah, I saw the biceps five years ago. Right now, Big Drew is doing some rope bicep pull downs. You can notice how Drew is going through each one, slow and steady, making sure he gets full range and full contraction with his muscles. Whole point is to be disciplined and focusing on what you're doing. When people go into the gym, sometimes they're distracted about what's happening in the day, what's on their Apple iWatch, the phone. Best thing to do is to stay concentrated and focused. Anything I've noticed too on the ropes, you always want to turn. Elbows as close as you can in, not flared out. Use the right hand to stay and press the sides. You can pause and hold it, I guess, sometimes to hold it. Doing the last three or five reps. Push that blood in there. I do it. It's always good to have different variations of these exercises.
going on. So, you know, the best thing about Hercules Potion too is we're going through these exercises is uh, obviously the instant gratification, which is the vasodilation and blood flow from the arginine and the L-citrulline. And then at that point, he's got ornithine in there too as well, which is like almost like an anti-fatiguing amino acid. So he's being able to do more strenuous activity. The goal is, is to be able to do more and more over time, right? And then increase in weight over time. You don't gotta go with dramatic leaps and bounds, but the whole point is to get the result and to keep progressing. So, you know, with the instant gratification, you're gonna get that pump. If you're vascular, you're gonna get even more vascular. You're gonna light up like a Christmas tree and it's gonna hold. So that's the best thing about it. There's other over-the-counter supplements that have L-citrulline, arginine, all these good things, but it's not got the exact same transportation method as Hercules Potion where it's an injectable, transportation rate's better, absorbency's better, and it's like 30, 45 minutes, you do a couple sets, you're gonna look insane or way better than you did, I promise you. Um, so that's something that I get out of it, and it's got all different types of things like glutamine and all this other stuff for recovery, liver protection, uh, joint lubrication, uh, immune system building. So that's just some of the different things that you'll get from it benefit-wise, but mostly everybody focuses on instant gratification from the pump, more strenuous activity right off the bat. So I think it's been a pretty good pump. Yeah, it was a good pump. Again, it's gonna stay. You guys see us still the show. It's gonna be an hour from now. The pump's gonna stay. So yeah, ready oh, yeah. to go, ready to eat, ready. To Let's do it. Get ready. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, what if I told you you could improve different things in your life, like aging, slowing down the aging, or possibly reversing it a little bit, recovering faster, rehabilitating faster from injuries or workouts. What about improving your bedroom relationships and taking that to a whole different level? As we age, some of these different things decline or become slower. We don't recover or heal as fast. Libido or bedroom relationships might go down. Performance might go down. And we might start aging a lot quicker as we go on in life. Well, I want to introduce you guys to peptide therapies. And peptide therapies can do a lot of different things. Like I said, we have things that will help you age slower or maybe reverse that aging a little bit. We have things that will help you recover or rehabilitate faster as far as peptide therapies and things that will improve your sexual relationships in the bedroom. We have different peptides for different things. And these peptides like BPC-157, TB-500, PT-141, and all these different peptides can help you guys enhance your quality of life or improve things that maybe need some improving, right? And who doesn't want to be better? Who doesn't want to recover better? Who doesn't want to get over an injury faster? Who doesn't want to improve bedroom relationships for their partner and themselves? Who doesn't want to slow down the aging process? So if you guys are interested in peptide therapy, the Tight Medical Center might have the peptides just for you. We can talk to you about all these different peptides and how they can help you improve quality of life, slow down the aging process, help you recover or repair faster, and improve bedroom relationships. If you want to know more information, Call or text us today, 727-389-3220. And look at our website, tightmedicalcenter.com. We have all these peptides on there and a lot more of the therapies that can help you live tight and strong day in, day out. Thanks, guys. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and this beautiful little lady over here <laughs> are bringing you guys great tips, tricks, and things that are going to help you ignite, entice, and up that relationship to wherever you need to take it, right? And that's the best level the or top. best possible level there could be. The All the way to the top. That's right. So uh, this week, you know, I want to, you know, bring up a conversation that, you know, I, I was talking to one of my, my younger athletes here and stuff like that, you know, and just kind of asking me my opinion about things, you know, he got a text message. So I was, you know, I was like, oh, I was like, this is a great topic to bring up. So, <laughs> you know, it, it's yeah, basically, um, 
assuming uh, which gender is going to pay for dates or have to pay for things and such like that. Should a guy always have to pay for everything, right? Should a girl pay for, for some things? Let's talk about it and let's yeah, really let's break it down. let's talk about these right? opinions. So nowadays, you know, we've got a lot of people out there, different generations doing different things. Mm -hmm. um, the old school way of it was, you know, is the guy would always take care of everything, right? The guy would be the provider and that would provide for dinners or taken out or protection or whatever it may be. But things have changed, right? Things have changed dramatically. Dramatically. In the environment and with these generations that have came up. For sure. Me, I'm old school. So I always want to take care of my wife and I want to take care of my family and be able to do this. Even on dates, I think, even when I started dating Sharice, you know, I would, I would pay for everything, you know? I mean, that was just what I grew up thinking, right? This is how it has to be for a guy to take out a girl. But, you know, things, like I said, have changed, right? And, you know, if guys are just starting to date girls and... You know, it's a whole different environment. Like I said, you know, there's more, it's more of a hookup generation now than a relationship <laughs> and dating <laughs> thing. It really is. Yeah. You know, think about the last time somebody asked you out if you're single, right? And how that went. Was it online through your DMs? Was it on a post? Did they call you or did they meet you in person? And what do they say to you? Hey, no. can I take you out for dinner? You know, or, you know, I'll stop by your house by seven o'clock, you know, maybe watch a movie or something like that. It's like, what is the expectation though? Let's say if you guys go to dinner, right? And then the bill comes. What's, What's the, the expectation, expectation right? right? Is right. the expectation that, you know, you grab your purse and say, you gotta go to the bathroom and Ooh, then just let them take care of it. Cause that true. is notorious. Now, did I do that? No, because I'm an alpha female. So, you know, I, 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 I think- I know guys that do that too. Uh, guys do the same thing, yeah. of course. I mean, especially if you have a girl, let's just say a girl that is a uh, well-off per se. Yeah. She drives a nice car, this and that. You might, I and mean, you might, they might think you're gonna be responsible for the bill. I mean, yeah. some weird times, I mean, this is weird to me anyway. Like I said, anything on this show is never set in stone. This is called an opinion, right? Yeah. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. Yeah. This is me and John's opinion and our take on this stuff, right? Yeah. We've been around for a while. We've also been married for a long time. So we've been yeah. through, you know, a lot, you know, even in the beginning, we've had our beginnings too. Everybody has beginnings. Yeah. Um, but you know, they might be, let's say split the bill, you know, I mean, what, what, what do you think should be the right thing to do? I know what John's gonna Ugh. say already. I, I mean, mean, listen, if you're gonna ask a girl to go on a date, you're gonna probably, you know, pay for the date, right? Now, if it's your first time going out with a girl or a guy, whatever it is, you know, you don't know what's exactly gonna happen. You may have conversations on the phone, online, whatever it is, but until you really meet in person, that's where you really see if you really have chemistry, is there awkward silences, how it's really gonna go, right? If you're really interested in each other. And just like, you know, if they're gonna pay them for the bill, you just order like, you know, lobster, a steak, make sure you get a couple margaritas, top you know top shelf of course and you know make sure you just run up the bill and see if they pay for it no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding i mean it could go two different ways <laughs> if something like that ha does happen so you know if you're going to assume that the other person is going to take care of the bill i wouldn't over order what you naturally wouldn't order so you can pay for it just in case something goes south it's so right? crazy though like honestly like it's so crazy like some of the stories that i hear it's crazy. So I'll give you guys an example, right? And this is an old school example. Great example too, right? Because I don't come from money. I say that every single time. And I like saying that because, you know, we've gotten to a place where we're comfortable and I, I've earned my way to this spot, right? So I, I'm proud of what I've done and, you know, where I come from. So I'm, I'm happy to tell stories like this, right? So when I first met John, yes, he paid for everything, what, which a nice gentleman should. My personal opinion, if you're a guy and you want to remain the alpha in the relationship, you probably should offer at least to, you know, pay for the, at least the first few dinners, whatever it might be. I mean, and then if you're a girl, maybe even offer, hey, listen, do you want me to split that or whatever? Cause then it shows that you have respect for the other party right. slash gender, right? right. Um, and this goes for guys, girls, 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 guys, guys. Okay. It doesn't matter. Um, but it's, it's ironically funny, funny story for you. Right? So in this particular situation, when I first met John, probably a few months in, <laughs> you know, I'm going to say, right. Oh, you're talking about the trip. <laughs> so listen, funny story. I'll make it quick and, and yeah. simple, but you know, at the time I was working regular nine to five, making just minimal amount of money, you know, and I was also helping my parents with their bills and my bills. And 
I had minimal money, right? So I always offered like, hey, listen, I'll pay for it. Like I have the money, like even though I really didn't have the money, but I was like, I'll pay for it. I have the money. So John goes on this trip. He comes back from the trip and he, I, he did 100% lose his wallet and credit cards and everything out there. Oh, my money was the worst. It was a bad trip for him. Worst. You know, how dare he get an extra day out of this trip? I was so pissed. So anyways, I pick him up in the airport and I'm, you know, he's starving to death because he hasn't eaten, right? Him and his friend and I have another friend and girlfriend with me. And so, you know, we go to Applebee's, or I think it was Applebee's, something of that nature. Um, and then we, you know, obviously he doesn't have his credit card on him. So I'm like, oh yeah, no, 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 I got it. I'll take care of it. Now, at the time, I will be totally honest with you. I probably had not enough money in my account to cover it. So I still covered the bill anyway and overdraft my account because it was an ego thing. But I covered the bill because I was like, listen, I got the money, I'm good, right? But it just showed that, listen, I, I cared for him a lot at the time and you know, I wanted to take care of him. And it's kind of one of those things. So once you get past like, I would say third, fourth date and stuff like that, I think it's out of respect you should at least try to establish like what's going on here and not just have the expectation that the man will always just pay for it because that can get old and that can get old real quick. Well, there's, I mean, there's a couple of different things. Going back to the story with Sharice, yeah, I'd lost my wallet and all this stuff. It was <laughs> the worst extended day that I had in my life. I stayed in this literally a flea bag motel in Costa Rica and Costa Rica is not like over here. So mm -hmm. when I talk about flea bag, I'm talking about no air conditioning, <laughs> Hot as hell there, opening the windows, bugs everywhere. Probably sleeping in bed with bug bed or bed bugs in the oh, whole night. He missed his flight. But you know, when I got back, I was saying I have a lot of money and literally we, we only ate like Burger King, like heading back home, right? Before we left Costa Rica. <laughs> hit, hit Fort Lauderdale, we were starving. Literally when my buddies talked about, talked to this girl in like a little um, shop and she gave us free Coke and a couple bags of chips for free. I couldn't believe we even got that for free. My guys, that guy. And he brought me back a teddy bear. So, you know, when I got home or whatever, I told her, I said, listen, man, I'm, I'm starving. I'm like, listen, you know, I'll pay you back, whatever it is. Cause like, I, I didn't want so that. Weird. So, you know, she, she covered it and that was awesome. Right. I didn't know the situation, but you know, I, I, wasn't I, I think the first couple of dates, right. You know, a guy should definitely take care of, you know, the girl, especially if you asked her out. And then at that point, you know, once you start establishing we're boyfriend and girlfriend, I think that's when kind of the rules will start changing a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And the dynamic of if you guys are going to plan to go on vacation together, you know, maybe you're going to chip in a little bit with them or you're going to do something as far as helping out with, you know, doing that um, event or wherever you're going to go, you know? So whether it's dinner, whether it's uh, going to Disney or whatever it may be, hey, listen, even if you pay for, you know, the car parking, right? You're, you're, you're extending out some sort of, um, olive branch as far as you know you want to to, to be able to provide don't energy. always have that yeah. expectation because that could turn into one of the things that's like oh you know uh, you owe me this you owe me that you know and it, it's just it's not a good way to have the relationship so out of respect you should always offer at least offer to pay for something and this is a guy or a girl it doesn't matter whoever's picking up the bill or you guys are going somewhere fun you got to at least offer it because yeah. it just it, it could become i feel like that is definitely something that that is brought up often that's like oh i'm expected to pay for everything now like and, and you, this person saying this behind your back you yeah. just don't realize it yeah. and you don't realize that you're you might be taking it for granted right so i mean don't do that and you know i mean a lot of a lot of guys or girls go through this anyway especially if you're well off right whether you're a girl and you're, you're killing it out there and making a ton of money, you're a guy out there or a couple, whatever it is, you know, people might see that, right? And then they automatically think like, oh, I'm gonna go out with this person and they're gonna take care of all my stuff. Trust me, I go through that, you know, every week of my life. I <laughs> Literally. I, I'll go out and you know, I'll go out to dinner with a couple people or drinks or whatever it is. And of course the bill comes and it comes directly to me. And I'm usually, you know, fitting the bill for everybody, whatever it is. And I'm glad I'm blessed to be able to do that. But it shouldn't be expected from anybody. At right. least, you know, somebody say thank you or, you know, can I throw At least in? offer. Can I, can I help out with a tip? Offer. I mean, these are little gestures that go a long way with somebody. You know, and if, you know, your girl is making more money than you, that doesn't mean that she has to pay for everything. Uh, if she's going to pick up more of these things, then listen, pick up in different areas, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot of money to, to write a card to somebody, right? Mm -hmm. Not to go get a card, but literally write something out. Write a nice little letter or note. 
You know, Good that's that. something she does. <laughs> um, you know, or you're, you're doing something for her, like, right? you know, maybe it's around the house or something like that. You're helping her pick up, you know, clothes or laundry. Just Those taking, things go a long way and that doesn't cost any too. money, right? So if you don't have, let's say you didn't have money, make up for it in other ways so that you're still giving back on yeah. the back end, you know, same thing, like yeah. do some dishes. Hey, do you need some help with some laundry or let me help you with something that something, uh, let's say gender role doesn't typically do or yeah. let's it just, ha it's gotta be like, it's a courteous type of thing. You know, the funny really thing is. that I see is this, and we're going to be wrapping up here very shortly. The funny thing I see is this, a lot of girls or guys, whatever, as far as if they're getting taken care of by the other person, you know, they expect that, right? And right off the bat, they're like, oh, this person's gonna pay for all this stuff and all, you know. But you expect them to do that, right? So they're assuming that gender role, whether it's male or female, is going to take care of everything because they have more money. But then I have to assume that the other gender role, let's say you're a female in that situation, you're gonna cook, you're gonna clean, you're gonna be ready at all times when I'm ready to go. <laughs> you know, you're gonna set those gender aspect, aspect Make expectations. Make sure you're in lingerie every right? night. And then that way, you know, it's a, it's a trade-off. Like they're doing this, you're doing this, right? But, it's, it, it's, you gotta meet each other, I always say it. You gotta meet each other at the halfway point yeah. and make it make sense for both of you guys, of right? That's what you really need to come up with. Of course, so that ends it guys. Another Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. We'll see you guys on ABC every Sunday at 11 a.m. If you guys miss us, don't worry, you can DVR it. Or if you don't have a DVR and you can't see us live, go right over to YouTube, check out all the Cupid's Corners and a lot more cool content from Titan Medical Center. We love you and we'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner with me, my beautiful wife here, Sharice. We'll see you then.